If you're a bad guy or maybe someone trying to sneak across the U.S. border, you definitely don't want to be in this picture. It's part of a unique use of drones and ground sensors called Pathfinder, and we got a look at the system at AUVSI Exponential in Dallas recently. In, in 2010, Dopper funded ARA to develop a very low-cost seismic sensor for the use by the military, particularly the Army and Marine Corps. We did that, uh, and over 50,000, well, actually 48,000 sensors were delivered to the Army and Marine Corps between 2012 and 2015. They're in service all around the world where U.S. troops are, and they've saved a lot of lives. Uh, how they're used is to, buried in the ground, they create a size, they detect seismic sensors of people walking. Deer, animals, uh, donkeys, anything else going by that isn't a human does not send a detection. The detection gets sent to a little receiver, and this receiver receives the radio signal. The computer processes inside this, there's a single board computer in here, it processes the detection that comes from the buried sensor, and the distance between these two devices is about eight to 10 miles. So you essentially have a doorbell that rings eight to 10 miles away. It gets received by a receiver with a computer processor with our algorithms that say, yes, it is a footstep or a vehicle, depending on what a customer sets this sensor at. And then most recently, in the last year, we've been able to automatically send the location directly to an autopilot of a small UAV, whether it be a fixed wing UAV that will fly for an hour and a quarter, or a quadrotor like the one behind me that will fly for shorter distances, but it's easier to launch and recover due to obstacles where a, a fixed wing needs a bigger space to land. What happens is when the doorbell rings, you can automatically send an unmanned air vehicle to the location of the doorbell and actually see what the targets are doing well before they reach your position. So it's very much it's a security device for fixed installations or for Customs and Border Patrol. It's a way to track movement of people coming in across the border, see where they're going, see where their uh, either weapon stashes or uh, drug stashes are, or just watch people moving through and have eyes on target from several hundred feet above them where they're totally invisible and they don't know they're being watched. So these small unattended ground sensors will last for six months and they are simply buried in the ground so the only thing visible above ground is the small antenna which believe it or not is extremely difficult to find even when you know where it is. Uh, at 50 alerts per day they will last for six months and we have a, long, a larger one with a bigger battery that'll last for up to two years.